I hope that this camera and this lighting does not wash me out because I'm not in my normal lighting and camera situation so we'll see how this works and my don't worry my um bronzer looks a little harsh because I did do my makeup in the dark which wasn't the best idea so gives me an idea for a challenge makeup video that I can do since I just oh so love doing my makeup in the dark lately <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Sahara Coleman. So today's video is going to be a part three to my how-to series on here. How to helpful videos. I think that's what I named the category. No, that's what I named the playlist. So if you go onto my channel and you look under my playlist, it'll say how to helpful videos and this will be added to it. So in those other two videos, one of them I did how to for transparent images and how to fit like thumbnails onto your YouTube videos and um, the next one was a how-to for backdrops like price type size lights and how to get no wrinkles so in this one I will be doing a what um, the best apps for Instagram frame most people do Instagram filters but I thought that I would do frames because I will be you know inviting you in on what apps they use because I know a lot of people like to keep those secrets I'm gonna first press screen record because I am gonna screen record this instead of like showing you guys so the first app that I'm gonna start off with is this the one called unfold it looks like the infinity sign so I'm gonna tap on that and I'm just going to explain to you guys as I go. So with this app, what I really love is when you press this little add button down here to like create a story, you can title the story so it'll be in a category that you want it to be in. But I'm just going to press create story. Um, go back to that. I'm going to press add again. For this one, I'm just going to show you guys everyone's favorite frame to use in this app. So if you scroll all the way over, you'll get to the um, the one called FF1. So when you press on that, it gives you all of these cool um, frames to go with. So you have one that looks like a Polaroid. And then you can add again, go over to FF1, and you can add this cool one that I'm pretty sure everyone has seen people use and it has the unfold logo on the side so you can add that you can also add videos to this as well let's see I'm just gonna quickly add a video and like when you press on it it'll come up so you can add videos you can add pictures the next one I'm gonna show you guys is Molly cam okay why did the volume come up to take a picture of yourself, just press the one that's next to this light right here that you see me that you see me flicking on and off. You just press the side so it can go up so it can show the front camera. Take a picture and then it's another like Polaroid app. You can use different filters, but I'm just going to stick to the original. You can add different effects to it and you could change the color of the Polaroid. I used to always love Polaroid filters, so that's why I use them so much. And I also love that fit. That's not it. That's the film. There's one on here that I really enjoy using. I can't find it, but I know there's one of them that gives you like that um, gritty type of look. It's like a great. So the next app I'm going to show you guys is Nomo Point and Shoot. So with this app, this is another um, like Polaroid type of app. So what I'm going to do with this one is just snap a picture of myself. Let's see, I want you guys to actually be able to hear it. Let me turn the volume up real quick. I want you guys to be able to actually hear it because it's so cool the way it sounds. And then in that little part in the corner right there, it will um, upload the picture and then you just press on it. And what's cool about this is 
they develop like a real camera but what you should do is click on it shake the camera and if you shake shake the camera shake the phone and if you shake it it will accelerate or speed up the process of the film so it could look something like that as you guys can see it's still like a vintage photo but I just think it's so cool the way it just the way they set the app up that's what really makes me enjoy it the next one I'm gonna talk about is Huji and with this one right here this is like another disposable film camera type of app so what I'm gonna do is press the button in the corner up on the right where it looks like it has the camera I'm gonna switch it so the it's on me take a picture it'll last longer <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is go to the lab and then you guys will see that picture of me so it just gives you these cute little filters and in the bottom corner you may not be able to see it let me try like a another picture that I already have so in the bottom corner somewhere on this side I think you'll see it on my shirt it will say the date cool it's like a vintage filter date and whatever type of lighting you take it in it'll bring up one of those like I don't know what they're called but it'll have like a different type of filter to it as you guys can see like this one is like a red this one has like a yellowish tint this one is like a red the next two apps I'm just gonna say two apps that I'm gonna be showing you guys they are basically Polaroid apps so again if you do love using Polaroid apps you're gonna love using this this one is called instance and it just gives you a bunch of different Polaroids to work with so I'm gonna select an image just select this one and you can choose the Polaroid size that you want to use and you can also press tap to edit and just put in some okay tips I don't need tip I already know what I'm doing <laughs> put in a title to it and you can also change the filter and whatever I don't mess with the filters too much and let's go back out of that and again you could just change to whatever Polaroid size that you want to use and type in whatever you want to so they're just basic apps nothing to them but still if you are a Polaroid person like I used to be obsessed with using Polaroids you will love this so the next one is again it's called instance I don't know how they both got the same name but they just do the, the exact same thing pretty much so I'm just gonna select a photo press choose and what's cool about this one is you can choose how the Polaroid is laid out you can also switch around the backdrops to the background I really like this one too I think it's cute it looks like marble looks very tumbler the way tumblr used to be i don't know i haven't been on tumblr in a long time so i don't know you can also add text you can change the filter i don't like changing the filter too much again i just keep whatever look i have going on right there so that is that ad. the next one is called voun i'm just gonna say v-o-u-n <laughs> and what's cool about this one is that let me just i'm gonna use this picture actually and press next and what's cool about this one is it looks like it could be like a a frame or a poster so you can use the different filters the different frames this one looks like it's in a frame this one is definitely my favorite this one is like a a poster this one looks like it's hanging up on hanging up by some clips it does look like it's like sitting up against a wall so I think stuff like that is really cool you do have to buy some of these so if you do want it to look really dope like that I really like that one I might buy I might eventually buy that one I think that looks so pretty like the yellow and orange colors that will look so pretty if you like take photography and use a filter like that 
And then you can also change the filters. I've actually never seen anyone using those frames like that so I think that would be really cool to showcase like artwork if you have artwork use a filter a frame like that from an I keep saying filter I keep mistaking filter and frame we're working on frames not filters it sounds like someone starting their 4th of July kind of early this video may not go up until like maybe before or after the 4th of July I don't know so I'm just saying <laughs> the next one is called story art which may be my favorite one so with this one right here you have tons of different um, frames that you can work with so one that I think is really cool I'm just gonna click on one this one right here it looks like it's on a computer so I'm just gonna take two two pictures just two of them and you can press it and adjust them to slide over so I think that's really cool the thing that sucks that I just cannot stand about this one though is that with most of these frames on here when you go to um, upload them some apps are not one-time payment anymore before you could just spend like 99 cent on a filter or whatever and you're good to go but now one thing that I notice about a lot of apps that I hate is that they're turning into subscription apps so you have to spend a payment on it monthly or yearly so with this one you do have to either do it by month or by year which still completely sucks I just like to do a one-time payment just in case you know I don't trust everybody so it's like you don't want somebody wiping out your account you'd be like I don't remember paying for that you know and another one that I really like is this one right here it's another one that looks like um, that looks like it's on a computer and this one right here like it says say cheese we detected a face so I think that this one this is probably my all-time favorite app for frames because as you guys can see they have so many frames to choose from if you go on vacation something like this that you see where that guy is standing would be really cool they also have animated ones. I guess it moves let's see Oh, with the animated ones, I'm going to show you guys because I did use this one time. Um, I'm going to go to edit. Let me turn that down right quick. So what's cool about the animated one is that you can add um, videos to it and it'll play the videos like this. You can choose to mute it. <laughs> you can choose to mute a video if you don't want all of them. Um playing out loud so what you'll do is just press on a video press that little volume button in the top left corner to mute it let's mute this one let's mute this one so yeah they'll still all three play but um you can mute them which i also think is really cool because a lot of apps don't give you that option to add a video onto the frame so i think that that's really cool that they do have animated polaroids as well some of them you'll find that they are free most of the good ones obviously they're not and i mean do you guys see like how cool these frames look that I'm going through and you do have to buy them sometimes I'm gonna be honest what I'll do let's just use like a frame that you have to buy sometimes what I'll do is I'll just screenshot it from here it does not give you excellent quality when you do screenshot it which is why you always want to download it but people who do these apps should not do is a subscription because I don't think that's fair to have to charge people monthly fees it's like if you want just charge someone like a one-time fee of $30 and that's it 
Okay, that's a lot of money, but still. But like I said, that's my favorite app. That's why I spent so much time just showing you guys that one. The next one is called Story Lux. I think there's like one more app after this. But this is really cool too. Frames, depending on what kind of mood you're going for. Like they have one coming up for um, the 4th of July, USA right here. They have one for film. If you love those Polaroids that I'm always talking about or you love vintage films, then well that kind of looks like the Unfold film. And then they have one for love, so around Valentine's Day is really cool. They have a collage that I think is really, really pretty. Like this one right here, this would be great if you're like on vacation, you can add something like this if you're like going to the beach. And again, this is another subscription app, $2.99 a month. So it says that you can get unlimited access to all of the um, filters for $2.99 a month. Now, one of my favorites on this besides like this collage one that looks really, really cool. Like it's out of like a, like a vintage treasure hunt, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Called Neon. So um, with this one right here, let me just use one that's actually free. Let's see, I'm just going to use this one right here. Okay, see? So, um, you can use just like a neon, a cute little neon something to work with. Something simple, but it's still... Okay, I'm trying to fix it oh you have to use two fingers you have to use two fingers to adjust the photo into it but see how um how cool that looks and it says no angel okay i'm not gonna go with that one right now <laughs> i'm an angel and then we have this one that you still have to subscribe to which sucks i can't <sighs> that is just like getting really frustrating to always find like a good app and then you have to subscribe to it, to it. No one started doing these subscription apps until the Kardashians and Jenner started doing their subscription apps where you do have to pay monthly. Then that's when I started seeing everyone else doing it, which sucks. It's like, let them have that, but don't do that to everybody else. So the last app that I'm going to be talking about is this one called Maid. So this one I did recently use this. No, I don't think I use it because some of these apps you can't upload the full um the full frame to Instagram unless you're only uploading it to your Insta story because some of them are too long like this one that I'm going to show you. So again, they have um this is something like depending on your mood. So they have something for the 4th of July. That's really cute. This one was for Pride because obviously last month was Pride Month. So this one right here is really pretty. I love those colors on the side. It says freedom, equality, pride all the way up. But I just thought that was pretty. I was going to use it for um, <clears throat> this one right here for this look that I did for Pride. But... I didn't get a chance to use it because again it does not the whole thing will not fit on Instagram only to Instagram stories but again I still do think it's pretty you could find different apps on here different um, frames to use like this one made this is actually their logo frame oh wow that's so cool so you can add let's just see I'm just gonna add all of these photos I keep going to like the same photos but that's because I'm just trying not to take forever this is really cool so you can add all of those photos and it says the one thing that you have that no one else has is you your mind your vision your story all completely unique to you and that uniqueness should be celebrated it should be shared so again this app is really really good I do like the frames that they give you on here to use I think that's pretty much it on a frame so I'm just gonna stop recording and go out of it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video and I am coming more I am gonna I am going to be coming at you guys more with um, 
how-to videos I've just been slacking a little bit because I'm trying to get together like all the videos that I really want to share with you guys in details on what apps you should use how to how to do this how to do that how to make your scenery how to make everything better you know how to make things easier because I know um, when I first started out shameless Maya she is someone who I just like adored because she in detail broke down everything that you needed to know about um, YouTube and stuff like that so that's why I want to share with you guys my experience and things that I can help you guys with so yeah again see you guys in the next video bye